Hi everyone, and welcome to Exploring the Build. If you just found this place, then welcome, and if you're returning, then I'm glad to have you back. I'm Alex, and this is my channel where we explore different character builds for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Today, we're doing another quick build. We'll be exploring a summarized character build for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, and as always with quick builds, let me know in the comments if there are ever any character builds that you'd like to see me explore in the future. For today's concept, we're going to be looking at creating a spell shot in D&D. And now for those who don't know, a spell shot is an archetype that appears in fantasy from time to time. They are an arcane gunslinger, capable of wielding firearms to deadly effect while also infusing magic into their weapons for additional added effects. And now a fair warning for this build, we're gonna get a little goofy and it's also a big stretch in terms of the rules. First and foremost, we're gonna need to get both firearm proficiency and a firearm to actually use. Now this is very DM dependent and may or may not actually be allowed at your table. And additionally, we'll be doing some things later on in the build that are nowhere near rules as written or even rules as intended. So that is also gonna be a bit of an ask. Plus we've also got some Unarched Arcana showing up and that is a hurdle in and of itself since that's unofficial material. We are asking for a lot of buy-in from our DM if we're actually wanting to play this build in game, but there's no harm in theory crafting, so strap in as we explore the build. So let's start the build with character creation. For our lineage, anything works. Same with background. All that actually matters in character creation is that we pick up the gunner feat as a free feat. This is going to give us firearm proficiency, plus a few other bonuses, and besides being an artificer, this is actually one of the only ways to technically get firearm proficiency, rules as written. I'm going to take custom lineage here so that we can also pick up dark vision along with the gunner feet, though you could reasonably go human variant or anything else. For our stats, we'll be using point by as always, and we're going to want the following stat line. 8 strength, 16 dexterity, 14 constitution, 14 intelligence, 10 wisdom, and 13 charisma. The plus one from Gunner went into Dexterity, and the plus two from our custom lineage went into Intelligence. The actual level breakdown of our build, we're going to be just taking the first nine levels into Warlock. That's a weird choice since our charisma is so low, but it actually shouldn't impact us too much. The only choices that really are going to matter here are our Patron, our Invocations, our Ability Score Improvements and Feats, and our Pact Boon. Any spells we get can be a pick your favorite to an extent, we'll get into that in a little bit. For our patron, we're going to take Hexblade. Any Warlock patron actually works fine, but we take Hexblade because it gives us access to elemental weapon. That's the one spell that we really want to kind of build around. When we eventually have our firearm, this will allow us to turn it into a magic weapon and give it a bit of elemental damage. That's going to make us really start to feel like a spell shot, or at least an arcane gunslinger, given that we can now have a firearm that is magical and can do a little bit of energy damage instead of just a gun. For our pack boon, we're going to take Pact the Blade. We want to form a connection with our firearm and be able to call it to us at will. Plus, we can eventually upgrade it with invocations then. Speaking of invocations, by level 9 we'll have 5. And it won't be too important what we take when, but as long as you know that by level 9, we have the following. We're going to want Thirsting Blade to be able to attack twice with our packed weapon. We're going to want Eldritch Smite so we can smite with our packed weapon. We're going to want Armor of Shadows as it's just a reliable option for armor, especially for us as a dex build. We're also going to want Eldritch Mind so we can have advantage on concentration checks. And then we're finally going to want Arcane Gunslinger. Now this is the invocation that is Unearthed Arcana, so we're going to again have to ask for some DM buy-in. And technically, it says that we can make our packed weapon a long arm or an actual gun, like a modern gun, since it's from the modern magic Unearthed Arcana. We don't want that. So as a compromise, I'd say, and I'm going to assume, that this is what allows us to have a firearm as our packed weapon, only a old-style firearm, such as a revolver or a flintlock pistol. Assuming that our DM is okay with that, that's how we get access to our gun. For our two ASI slash feats, there are no feats that we actually need, so just bump your dexterity twice at Warlock 4 and Warlock 8 to make sure that it can get capped at 20. For the rest of the build, we're just going up Wizard. The only choices that actually matter here are the Wizard subclass that we take and our ASI slash feats. 
The spells can be whatever you want, but odds are we're going to want to pick buffs that don't actually rely on intelligence, such as shield, absorb elements, silvery barbs, blur, etc. For our ability score improvements slash feats, these are pretty easy. We only get two and we don't need any feats, so increase your intelligence twice to get it to 18. This will make our wizard spellcasting a lot more feasible, plus it gives us a few other boosts. For our subclass, we want to go with the Chronergist Wizard, or Chronomancer, or Time Wizard, whatever you call it. The subclass that is from Explorer's Guide to Wildmount, and is based off of Critical Role material. It gives us a couple features that make us feel like an actual gunslinger as well as a spell shot, and those first features are going to be the Chrono Shift and Temporal Awareness that they get at level 2 when we pick the subclass. I think that we could really flavor these more as a gunslinger's luck and fast reflexes. Chronal Shift is a reroll, so that's kind of just like Gunslinger Luck, and Temporal Awareness boosts our initiative, so that's kind of like fast reflexes. The 6 level Monetary Stasis feature from the subclass is, is not important, but the 10th level feature of Arcane Abeyance is. This lets us condense a 4th level or lower spell slot into a tiny gray bead. The gray bead is a physical object, and I hope that some of you can see where I'm going with this. If the DM allows us, we would like to create one of these spell beads, load it into our firearm, and then shoot it at an enemy to cast a spell. The ideal scenario is we get to make both an attack that deals damage and add the spell effect when we shoot the bead. But honestly, that's so ridiculous and kind of over the top for the rules that I would consider just getting to cast the spell through the gun as an absolute win. This is the feature that is actually going to make us legitimately feel like a spell shot, assuming it actually works. The DM could always say that the explosion from the firearm's gunpowder breaks the bead in and of itself, and we cast the spell on ourselves, and that's just bad, but that's kind of no fun, and we're shooting for a bit more of a fun idea here. So hopefully we have some sort of compromise that'll let us feel like a spell shot. If this doesn't work, and you actually still want to be an arcane gunslinger and take yourself a little seriously, then just sticking with Warlock is honestly fine. You get a few more features like invocations and the hexblade features that you could build around a bit more, and you'd still come out looking like an actual sort of arcane gunslinger to some extent. But I think that as a spell shot, we should be able to shoot a spell. Which is really what I'm gunning for, pun intended, with both this feature and with our ability to use a firearm. All that said, it's time to summarize the build. There's really not a lot to it. Our ASI slash feats were just increasing our stats, and all the class stuff was just what we get, plus a few options here and there. Assuming we actually got the DM's buy-in on most parts of the build, like the firearm and making our packed weapon a gun, then we can definitely be an arcane gunslinger. We have two warlock spell slots that are fifth level and refresh on a short rest, and as a warlock, these would be best split between smites and casting elemental weapon. But after we multi-class, I'd say these are just for elemental weapon. We can use our wizard spell slots for our elder smites, or even just the other buff spells that we have. Overall, we're a pretty basic gish, but we just happen to use a firearm as our weapon instead of a melee weapon or a hand crossbow. We could technically do this entire build the exact same way, just with a hand crossbow and the crossbow expert feat instead of gunner. It would all work pretty much the exact same, except for shooting the gray bead with the spell, because that's more like a firearm bullet rather than a crossbow bolt. But I digress. It's nothing too crazy, and the crazy part comes in when we do try to shoot a spell through our gun with the gray bead as our firearm's bullet. If we're allowed to do damage and cast the spell when we do, then we can probably get some pretty crazy combos going, I'm sure. If we can only cast the spell, no damage, then I would at least hope that we get a little bit of extra range out of the bead based on our weapon. And if none of that works, then I'd say that that's too bad, but understandable, admittedly. Overall, though, this has been a pretty fun build to at least theorycraft, and maybe it would be okay to try sometime in like a level 20 one-shot or something, given that our actual spell shot feature doesn't come in until level 19, and that at that point everyone's kind of doing ridiculously powerful things, and this would be really kind of tame compared to some of the other classes and the things they can do. Let me know what you thought of our quick build and how you would change it to build more around the concept of a spell shot or arcane gunslinger. Thank you for joining me on the journey, and I hope to see you in the next one.